I am currently looking at a ship. I will be boarding today for my solo seven night cruise. Today I am boarding the MSE Virtuosa and I'm off to Spain and France for seven nights by myself. Watch me on the solo cruise for seven nights and we are ready. Do you like my boarding outfit? For some reason, I've actually worn this green shirt before boarding a cruise. I don't know what it is, it's so, I am boarding a cruise today outfit. I'm gonna go downstairs in the hotel, get some brekkie, and then I'm gonna get some charges and that from Argos and I'll give a shit about that and then board my cruise. And I'm also meeting my friend who lives in Southampton. She just got off her own cruise and she lives there. She lives like 10 minutes away. So I'm gonna meet her before I go on my cruise and she's gonna wave me away. I slapped her holiday in. You smashed it. I'm waiting for my friend in my car. <laughs> I don't know why we do this, but we're gonna cruise watch literally the ship I'm going on. Hi, bye, bye CC. This is CCC one. Currently boarding. Go. Fourteen, two, three, five. <gasps> Whoa. it would be a good idea to watch my ship come to port this morning so i am shattered now i'm so tired i did just try and have a nap but it didn't work <laughs> Try maybe one o'clock, half past twelve. Okay, I am going to log out. Okay, logging out. Tomorrow is a sea day, and I've ordered breakfast to my room. Good night. So I've got up really late. Um, it is like ten o'clock. That's rough. No, the clocks change, so technically it's nine o'clock, and then I didn't go to bed till like one a.m when it normally goes to be like 10. So technically it's like eight o'clock. I got some content of breakfast in this morning. I literally woke up and was like, I'm gonna eat that on my balcony and then possibly get dressed to eat more upstairs. Good breakfast, I've already taken half of it. There are a lot more queues on this cruise line. Hi. Thank you. Do you have any straws by any chance? Yeah. Thank you. Oh brilliant, thank you. I am rubber duck hiding. Basically people hide ducks on cruise ships so I have so many ducks that I'm gonna go around the ship and hide. So I'm gonna be up till quite late. So I've ordered room service instead of going out for food. But it's just it's just gonna be busy and I just thought oh, I can't, I can't be us. I ordered pizza in and then I can like go on my phone, relax, because like, I need to save the energy for tonight. I literally have not a single plan, but I wanna like try and like potentially make more friends because I've made one friend. Once you get a couple of friends on board, it's quite nice because then you can like all hang out together. This shit, I feel like it's not as sociable as Royal Caribbean. So Royal Caribbean, you talk to everyone and anyone. And the smoking area is really like communal. Like you just sit with like strangers where this one isn't. Harder speaks people. Good night. Where's pajama llama? This is my pajama llama. I made her in Center Parks and now she's my best friend and comes with me everywhere. So tomorrow is our second full day, but third day 
I suppose if you count the first one, but it's our first port of the cruise. We're going to La Rochelle, France. Good morning, good morning. We've arrived at our first port though. We're in sunny La Rochelle, France, but we need to go hit the buffet before we go anywhere. <laughs> La Rochelle. I'm so sad this is not like a beach cruise port because like you can't get to the beach. Let's say you get a taxi or like you walk like 45 minutes and I'm sorry but it's like 25 degrees. I'm not walking. watching the walking it was not the walking dead it's the ones who live and i'm getting it's ready for tonight i think i'm gonna go to a show i need to go for dinner but i'm not hungry because i'm always like like heavily snacking but throughout the day i'm never like super hungry when it gets to night time so i haven't actually had like, a sit down meal here yet i say like i haven't actually i've only been there for two nights takeaway pizza last night and then the first night why didn't i what did i do i swear i can i can really up our quality of video there we go. Look like some like makeup girl. Hi guys, so first we go on my world of moisturizer. I always get a little bit nervous like when the waves move, but then I need to realize like, we're literally like, like we're, we're not going far. Like we're literally not going far at all. Looked at the sea day and at the minute, the sea day looks wavy. Hopefully the weather's just wrong at the minute and it will change. Tonight is no formal night, it's no dress up night. It's just a regular night, so I'm just gonna put on a little outfit. I've started this book earlier, and it was really good. Heartbones by Colleen Hoover. I don't hear it. If anyone's here, like, Kayleen, don't care. It's really good so far, and I was like getting into it. But like, this was back at La Roche, where I was like sat down reading, like you saw. And this guy, he started talking to me, he's like 50s, 60s, and he was going to court today, and he asked me to go for ice cream with him. He was off to court today for his divorce to get money. I text the family group chat and they were like, I think he wants to be your sugar daddy. I don't really have any other updates. Oh, I, I had a little bath. It lasted for like a solid, maybe like four minutes. Like the idea of having a bath is always so good. And then you get in the bath and it's so hot and you're like running out and you feel so lightheaded and, and it's just not fine. But then you start sweating. So then you actually smell worse. And, and also I feel like it's really hard to like wash and cl like, cl like probably clean yourself in a bath. Just me? No? Good morning ladies and we're in Spain. So, got myself my beach towel yesterday. It's an MSC beach towel. So I thought there was no point like bringing a beach towel here because after after this cruise, I go straight to Cornwall. I do need beach towel like, for like just like towel purposes. And hopefully it's warm when I go to Cornwall so I go to the beach. You're not rambling. Got myself a beach towel. Um, there's a protest going on outside. I don't really know what's going on. Apparently it's for Ubers. So they're protesting against taxis. I thought they were protesting against the cruise ship. But I say, oh, damn, that's, that's that's a bit awkward. This is my tankini top, by the way. And then I have my my swimming costume buttons underneath. And I just got a pair of shorts on. And yeah, and I've, I've ransacked the mini fridge. It's a mini fridge. I ransacked it. I've got a Fanta and I've got a Sprite. So like we're nearly at Fanta Lemon, but we're just not quite there. We're in the middle. And today is literally all about being out on the beach, tanning, enjoying life. And we're gonna go hit the buffet and then go straight off board. Today is about getting that, getting that tan. So it's on the beach. If I want to tan my stomach, I can go like this. I think I don't really have a lunch or a dinner here because I still cut so much on the breakfast and then I just end up eating like pizza throughout the day. These sticky buns I really like. Watch uh, Ben and David, they do cruise videos and they post a review eating a sticky bun on their MSC food video and they didn't like it but I do, which is good. 
We must just go about that. Every time I record, there's like tits, like everywhere. Is there tits behind me? There's tits behind me. There are just tits. Oh my god, there's double tits here. I walk past so many tits, and you know what I do? When I walk past briefly, I'm like, I, I have a tit similar. I need to find like a tit twin. I can't find my tit twin because apparently like Spanish people have like so much better tits than me. And you know what it makes sense because all I eat is like greasy food. Well, I, all I ate was greasy food for years, so it probably did some like weird like gravity shit to them. We're back, and his shoulder feels slightly sore. Okay, ah, it's not burnt. It's not burnt. It it isn't burnt. It's just it's just sore. I'm sat here having dinner. Wait, wait, look, look, I'm sat here having my buffet, watching the fucking games, Amanda just like burns the snakes. Oh my god, maybe I have burned because when I lay down, it actually hurts. How am I finding this cruise so far? The thing is, with all the cruises, you have to separate everything. Like, with my vape all the cruises have different pros and cons it's hard to be like well that's my favorite cruise because i know my favorite ship they all have different pros and cons royal i need to find some cons for royal i think for, the cons for royal is probably like more like the price aspect to be it to be honest msc and pno they do like the short cruises four nights here i don't go to ireland and like rotterdam and it's like royal caribbean don't really do that that much but I haven't really met many people on this cruise at all. Like, no one really my age. With my last cruise, I think... But I always think, like, you're going to compare cruises to other cruises. Like, I feel like my my favourite cruise was my Norway cruise. Like, the people, it was insane. I made friends on each one of my cruises, and everyone's been so lovely. But obviously, like, with Norway, I, there, was, there was so many people. Like, if I just talk about, like the actual like cruise alone I think for my first cruise it was actually the same itinerary as this but i prefer it the, like i prefer it this time around so the ports i don't know why maybe it's because it's warmer maybe because i know what i'm doing i don't know but I, I enjoy the ports better this time compared to when i went on these ports um previously so i'm so tired trues go to sleep i'm rambling yeah fuck it morning we have ported in la corona and i mean la corona a corona we've we've we ported in corona oh god I bloody hope we have not pre-tan it's hurting a little bit yeah when i lay down flat it's like tsst, ow tsst. does it does it do the tsst thing okay it's not that bad i don't know what happened they and they what they didn't feel like there was tanning yesterday i had like no tan lines going on then i actually leave the place and then and then, yes, yeah, side for sore eyes. Off to you, buffet breakfast. This is the port we're in today. I'm actually not going to get off because I've already been there. I just want to make use of the pools. And if the pools are shit and everyone's in them and I can't read my book, then I'll get off. It's my pool time. I'm currently missing La Corona, a Corona to be in a pool. Valid. So you will come to a pool on a port day then it'll be quiet we just found out there is a beach 15 minutes away so guess where we're off to oh my god my shorts are ringing wet from my swimming co are those abs no that you know you like you suck in permanently <laughs> it's my stomach needs to my stomach needs to turn I can't believe there's a beach here we've just got off the ship and we're off to the beach <laughs> pink tanned i don't know what earth i have filmed oh good morning <laughs> i 
have literally no clue what I have actually filmed. So last night was supposed to be tropical night. Um, I didn't end up going just because I was like, okay, I can either have an early... I actually got dressed up. I got dressed up to go for dinner. But then, basically, I had my food back in my cabin. And then my bed was really comfy. And then I started watching The Princess Diaries. And also, I feel like it's just one of those things where you, like, go with people. And, like, no one, like, motherfucker people here. So I was like, you know what? I'm so, like, I'm so happy. Stay in, read my book, watch The Princess Diaries. And I had a fab night. Anyways, I haven't got up yet. So should we stand up? Oh. before but it was so nice because it's been like warm to every port i've been like to the beach and go for a nice walk and sit in the sun and read my book I don't, and there's a disney dream cruise it coming from southampton like this summer a disney dream cruise so i do kind of want to try that i just kind of want to try it all like summer is my time where like i really like i go full out and then once it hits winter, I stay inside and I just read my book. Who doesn't want to run about the world on a cruise ship when you're 21? Ladies, it's breakfast time. I'm sorry, the door's open, it's going shh. We have, of course, sticky buns, hash browns, scrambled egg, these potato things, they're so good. Um, French toast and, oh, beans, scrambled egg. I think I said all, ketchup. Having a buffet breakfast every day, it makes you forget how much you love a fryer. Okay. Ooh, it smells like a shit here. It, it smells like whew. I don't frequently walk into a room where I've shat and gone, ooh. And it doesn't smell like awful, it just smells like food, like buffet food. It smells like the only thing I can get me to go outside. Like I see it's UB6, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I see it's UB6, I'm like, we have to go. It don't look warm, but I mean, if it's UV6, then I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Tan and pendant, because the shoulders are now going bronze. The back just needs an extra upgrade. Oh, like where my hair has been. <gasps> the sea literally looks like a river. So nice. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a massive achievement on any MSC ship to have the master playing. It's an honour. Give him a big round of applause. It's Captain Chris Pugh! Did you know, I've noticed that my eyes, when I first wake up, they don't align. We're in, we'll have rush. No, we're not. Sure, break. Good morning. My stomach shut out my life this morning. It does that frequently. I know. It's called uh, IBS. It's a lot of fun. I've only had the shit twice. Like, that's pretty, that's really good for me. So today is the last full day on our cruise. So this is Sherbrooke, Shaborg. There's our coaches, I guess. Like, it looks cute, don't get me wrong. But I have been there before. <laughs> No, what slide? Whoa. Oh my god! Oh. This is the last sail away now, and then we're back at Southampton. 
one more rope pull and we're back at sea. getting dumped and I don't think it was a good decision who's getting dumped. Tiffany and Omar. Why Tiffany? My cheesy grin on the other side. <laughs> I'm literally recording going. <laughs> Let's go again. Round two? No. Let's go again. No. Again? <laughs> oh my god. That's France over there where we're just leaving. We've been following the coast of France and then this way is England. I've had such a nice time like, looking at the ocean and I don't know like going to the ports and being at the beach and being hot and just laying there. And, like... Anyways, I'm going to enjoy my last night watching Love Island with the sunset. I'm pretty sure that is the island right just there. We can, we can book another, it's fine. We can book another. I will lay here and watch Love Island. Oh! We are back at Southampton now. Also, i just done a massive shit, yeah? Still, uh, is the electricity working? It says my electricity not working. Well, it's working. Why isn't my flush working? My flush isn't working. Did I shit that hard? I've got everything. Everything's packed. The end of the call. Let me show you what next the call's back to looks like. There's this tiny compared to mine. So this is mine. It's like you've got enough room, like, for a lot of activities. Like, it comes all the way back and it's got, like, corner. It goes a little bit in there. This is next door's. That's it. 